Hey Marvel Universe fans, today I thought we'd take a look at a um, two-pack that I found at Walmart. This is a Savage Frost Giant and Loki. This, uh, this pack along with the other one, with the Goliath and Thor, just mysteriously showed up one day at my local Walmart on the, uh, on the clearance aisle. I've never seen this before on the shelf itself and I even went back yesterday and looked and never could find a tag for it to begin with but anyway there's no more of them there but I'm, uh, I'm really happy to have uh, found this one when I did and was lucky enough to get it. Uh, it comes with a, a reprint of the 1970 The Mighty Thor The Fall of Asgard and uh, it's a uh, it's a pretty good comic. There's not a lot in it about the, the actual uh, frost giant itself, but anyway, uh, the Loki. We'll go over it first. The Loki that comes with this uh, this stands for the Juggernaut, by the way. It doesn't come with a stand. The Loki figure that comes with is three and three quarter inches. And uh, I have to say, this is a the paint and the detail on this one is a. Uh, really good it surprised me uh, most of the comic packs that I've seen or bought the uh, it's either hit or miss as far as the paint apps on it but this one right here is real good I like the older uh, the older style look too that's uh, that's the way I always remember it from the uh, from the older comics to begin with uh, same uh, articulation as a lot of the uh, uh, other Marvel Universe figures like a look on his face he's got there too but uh, a, they put a number right there on his leg I don't know why they done that I'm glad to have this one it displays real good too uh, the Frost Giant is a uh, it's huge. That's all there is to say about it. It's a uh, it's a 12 inch figure, and it weighs just a little bit over two pounds, which uh, is good and bad. The bad part is this knee joint won't hold itself up over eight or nine hours, and it just des decides just to give way and it falls over in the case. And inside that glass detolf case, it makes a <laughs> just one hell of a racket when it falls over, especially when it's three o'clock in the morning. But the detail on it is uh, it's just great. If, uh, if you're lucky enough to find this one, get it. It's a uh, it's a uh, it's really a nice detail figure. They could have they could have done something a little bit different. The majority of the weight is from here to the head. I mean, it's really really heavy. And I'm not going to show a lot of the articulation because I'm afraid that joint will get even loose or get worse than it already is and won't stand up at all. But uh, here's a uh, here's the helmet that it comes with. I mean, it's just badass looking all the way around. There's no other way to uh, to put it. You can see some battle damage on it right there. The uh, the hand here, all the fing all the fingers on it articulate. I mean, you can uh, you can make him give Loki the bird if you want to. That's a that's a nice feature. And um, the big weapon here, you can see it compared to Loki. How big the weapon is itself. It's a uh, it's got real nice detailing, good work on it too. I mean, it's heavy too. But uh, you can see the uh, work they done on the feet and legs for the wrap around the legs. Paint apps on this one's great. And I haven't found anything wrong with it other than the fact that uh, it's just according to how you stand it. Heavy. It's just according to how you stand it, it just won't stand up. Not on its own, not all night. But I've got it in the, um, 
in one of the back corners on my detolf case now so it stands up pretty good back there on its own now. But at least it has in the last night or two it hadn't fell over so that's what I'm going with. It's nice, nice, it's really, really heavy too. I'm, uh, I'm glad I wound up with this one. And uh, Andre wanted me to go over my, uh, my Juggernaut from the Marvel Universe too. And uh, no problems out of this one at all. Detailing on it's good. Uh, this helmet doesn't come off, which I'm, I'm glad of that. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's really, really got a nice, nice face behind the, uh, the helmet. Paint on it's good. No flaws I could find anywhere. Um, yeah, Andre, if you can find this one, that's the only one I ever found. I had to, uh, I had to get this one offline or online on eBay, but I think I wound up giving just a little over ten bucks for this one, but. If you're a Juggernaut fan, this is a uh, definitely uh, one to pick up. The uh, these larger figures are uh, the bulky ones. I really do like. Uh, the only one that comes with it, it comes with a stand. They quit putting the cards in them, I guess, when they put the stands in them. But uh, I could live with it. I like the stands because a lot of these smaller figures have. Uh, a hard time standing up to begin with. And there's the uh, Archangel. I like to find him, the Archangel and Colossus. But as far as, you know, there's been several people ask me, I hadn't been collecting these very long, but which one is my favorite? And out of all the ones that I have, which I have quite a few of now, I have to say as far as accessories and detail would definitely be this World War Hulk right here. It's, uh, it's just great. It comes with a, a nice detailed shield, a sword, a big sword, and uh, comes with a big battle axe, scarred and marked up. And uh, I mean, we just look at it, and uh, you can see why I like this one the best. Stands up good, articulation is good on it, like the armor. It's just, uh, it's my favorite out of all the ones I've got. I thought that, I got this one actually before I got Thanos, and I thought Thanos would be my favorite, which you know, it is, but it's probably number two, but this one right here is definitely going to be number one for me out of the ones that I have right now. And believe it or not, I found this one in the store one day. So I didn't have to order this one offline, but uh, I hope that helps you out, Andre. The... Uh, like I said, the bulkier Marvel Universe figures to me seem like that they, uh, the, uh, the joints on them are a little bit better, especially as far as standing up on their own. And some of the smaller ones have problems. Now this Loki figure doesn't have problems standing up on its own, but uh, I just used a stand to, uh, to show you the extra accessory coming with the Juggernaut. If, uh, if any of you out there has got any questions, I could possibly answer. If you want me to go over anything that was, uh, I went over quite a few figures that was in my case the last time that I hadn't reviewed, which you know, there's a lot of reviews out there on YouTube of all these, but uh, I'd be more than happy to do it for you. But uh, that's all I've got today from my Marvel Universe.